So does this sound like you? You've been out on your bike for a very long ride and you start to get slightly buzzy, tingly hands, often more common in motorcycles that have fewer cylinders. And then you ever look down on those handlebars that are causing those buzzy, tingly hands and thought to yourself, my quite expensive mobile phone is connected directly to those vibrating handlebars. Have you ever wondered what kind of damage is being caused by that constant vibrations? Well, I haven't really thought about it until recently I was in a few motorcycle Facebook groups, usually looking at stupid memes and uh, pictures of other people's bikes that I can't afford right now. And I see people saying, don't attach your phone to your handlebars, you're gonna ruin the camera. But I've had my iPhone 7 attached to my handlebars onto a very cheap phone holder for years without any issues. So I'm just here to pose the question, has it ever happened to you? After doing a bit more research, I came across a statement from Apple themselves saying that exposure to vibration such as those generated by high powered motorcycle engines may impact iPhone cameras. So this starts to be a bit of a concern. In what way does it affect the cameras and should I invest in a better uh, phone holder or should I just not worry about it at all? So the statement here, which actually only came out a few months ago, probably end of September, I think, it says the advanced camera systems in some iPhone models include technology like optical image stabilization. These systems work to automatically counter movement vibrations and the effect of gravity to let you focus on taking a great shot. I think it works, so if you accidentally jog your camera or vibrate it, it will compensate for that movement automatically and you'll get a sharp image. These systems are built for durability. However, as in the case with many consumer electronics that include systems such as optical image st stabilizations, long-term exposure to high amplitude vibrations with certain frequency ranges may degrade the performance of these systems and lead to reduced image quality for photos and videos. Therefore, from what I understand, if you're on your motorbike and it's on the handlebars just vibrating away, the system that stabilizes the image is going to degrade very quickly. It goes on to say, high power or high volume motorcycle engines generate high intense amplitude vibrations, which are transmitted through the chassis and handlebars in particular. It is not recommended to attach your iPhone to motorcycles with high power or high volume engines due to the amplitude of the vibration in certain frequency ranges that are generated. Attaching your iPhone to vehicles with small volume or electric engines such as mopeds and scooters may lead to comparatively lower amplitude vibrations, but if so, a vibration dampening mount is recommended to lessen the risk of the damage to your iPhone and the camera. Uh, so that's very interesting and that's relatively new information. I've never had an issue with it. I have an iPhone 7. It's been attached to my handlebars for five years. I've never owned a Samsung or anything else. So maybe the issue is not as prevalent there, but it's interesting that Apple have come out with this very specific statement. I thought it's something that you should know about. It's something you should con consider. And let me know if you've never had a problem. I've seen people in these groups on Facebook, as I mentioned, that have had problem after problem after problem, but it's never occurred to me. And I'm actually looking for a new phone because the iPhone 7 is getting quite old now. Is this something I should worry about? Let me know. It would be great to know what you think. Please leave a comment down below. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.